So finally, Windows 11 is launching their last and final update of 23H2 with lots of amazing unawaited features that many Windows 11 users will have been waiting. So this new update will be released by October 10th of this year. But if you want to enjoy before than that, then you can join the Windows Insider program, the beta version, and you can use these options. I've already created a video. If you want to check it out, then you can check it out. The link will be in the description. So now let's quickly get started. So the first feature that has been added in this update is the dynamic lighting option that you will find in Windows 11 personalization settings. So if you click on dynamic lighting, so you will get a lot of features like you can manage all kind of RGB lighting effect for all the other peripherals and devices. You can manage the brightness. You can use the background light control effects. There are a lot of options that will be available once the update is properly launched now the next update that is of the windows home page now in the settings only if you look here the home option and if you click on it so you will find that this is a new home page of windows 11 23 h2 that contains a lots of recommended settings your wi-fi your windows option here you can manage your onedrive cloud storage bluetooth devices you can personalize your pc and many other more options on your windows 11 home page only so that looks very cool that looks very useful where anyone can access a lot of features from one page only and the next update is related to microsoft store so if you have been using microsoft store or many kind of ai tool then this update will be really useful for you because a new option of ai hub has been added in the microsoft store just like apps gaming and movies and tvs now you can click on ai hub and you can browse all kind of ai tool from this single platform okay so this is a very useful feature i guess especially now when the ai tool is launching day by day so now you can access all of them from one page only and now the next one is related to the microsoft paint as many people were requesting that there should be an option of dark mood in the microsoft paint so now if you open the paint option on the right hand top you will get the setting gear icon and if you click on it you will find the dark mode option system setting option that can match according to your system settings and if i switch to dark mode so here it is and if i go back and if you do any kind of work here like pasting any kind of pictures you can zoom in zoom out and with a lot of effects that's really looking cool now so let me know in the comment section where you've been waiting for the dark mode in the paint option or not and now after this the new update is related to the file explorer so if you now bring up the file explorer you will find a new option of gallery on the left hand side and if you click on it you can look all over your pictures at one place very similar like you access on your mobile phone now you can access on your windows pc and laptop a part of this you might be aware of the new tab option so on one file explorer only you can open multiple tab now very similar to your browser so if you want to open it and this you can do also on your notepad and now the next one is that i think most of the windows users have been waiting for that is windows 11 default option of opening any kind of zip file so now onwards you don't have to download any kind of third party tool like winrar or any other and if you download any kind of zip file now and if you make a right click on it so you will be getting an option here extract all okay and once you click on it uh, you can extract the file and it's very easy and very simple to use so you can extract wherever you want to then it will bring up the folder and then you can access any of your zip file okay so this is a very useful feature now i don't know what will happen uh, with the winrar what they will do now will they shut down i don't know let me know in the comment section that what do you think about them next update is related to the windows backup so if you go to your settings and then if you go to account and then if you open the windows backup so now you will be getting a new option here to back up your system settings to back up your configurations to back up your customization so that it should be a complete backup now of course this will be in your onedrive but at least it will be a useful feature for you so that in case you have an option if you want to backup everything then you have an option to go with onedrive so this is a very amazing feature in case for the people who want to backup everything so they have this option now so finally and the last update that we have is related to the co-pilot now and if you look at the taskbar you will find this co-pilot option 
and you can also access it using the shortcut key that is windows plus c key and if you press windows c so you'll see a co-pilot coming on the right hand side with lots of amazing and improved feature that will give you a multiple option to access it okay so you can do a tons of work here like to be creative more balanced you can ask whatever you want to and it will do everything for you okay so that's all guys for today hopefully you will enjoy this video and if you want to update upgrade to windows 23h2 then you can watch the video the link will be in the description let me know your thought about this new update and all the feature that has been added to this new update and i see you in the next video bye bye